While seasonal and calendar-related effects are often important and there is nothing wrong with a series containing these effects, they are generally considered to be incidental to most data users. Users of economic data tend to be interested in trends and business cycles and prefer to use data in which these effects are removed. The process of removing the seasonal and calendar-related effects from time series is known as seasonal adjustment. Let's describe what we mean by seasonality and calendar-related effects. Seasonality refers to events that take place periodically, year by year, with a similar pattern and magnitude. For example, in countries with cold winters, activities such as construction tend to slow down during the winter months due to adverse weather conditions. Agricultural production generally follows a seasonal pattern with planting, growth, and harvesting of crops occurring at regular times each year. Related industries, such as fruit canning, may follow a similar pattern of seasonality. Other seasonal patterns are influenced more by institutional conventions. Schools may close for holidays at regular times each year, which in turn may coincide with holiday travel and tourism. Taxes may be collected or bonuses paid on a particular date each year. Finally, social conventions, such as regular gift giving associated with some holidays, such as Christmas in many countries, may lead to regular seasonal patterns in consumer expenditures and retail turnover. Calendar-related effects, on the other hand, are predictable, but do not follow the same pattern each year. The pattern of the 365-day calendar vary from year to year in predictable ways. For example, in countries and industries where a five-day work week is standard, the number of work days for a particular month may vary from 20 to 23 days from one year to the next, depending on how the calendar is aligned. These variations are known as trading day effects or working day effects. Another calendar-related effect is the leap year effect which is related to having an additional day in the month of February every four years. Finally, there are moving holiday effects from holidays such as the Passover, Lunar New Year, Ramadan and Easter, which occur on different dates each year. Each of these types of calendar-related effects can have a predictable and significant effect on economic time series. Here we can see an example of the difference in the number of weekend days between the same month in two consecutive years. In 2021, May had five Saturdays and five Sundays, that is a total of 10 weekend days. However, in 2022, May had five Sundays, but only four Saturdays, for a total of nine weekend days. Similarly, the number of each weekday may be different between the two years. For example, in May 2021, we had four Tuesdays, while in May 2022, we had five. This kind of difference can lead to the existence of calendar-related effects in some time series. By removing the seasonal and calendar-related effects from a time series, we obtain seasonally adjusted series that highlight the more meaningful events and cycles.